This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trevor here from Trevor's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Last year we done a video on bee escapes and uh, how we use them and such like. So I'm not going to recap on all that. Um, they proved very successful uh, with my honey harvest last season. Um, very few bees left in the honey boxes. But when I was at Ecrotech the other day, I saw these. These are an eight-way bee escape, so the bees can get out any one of eight ways. Uh, they come with little holes drilled in them, not big enough for what I want to do, but close enough. Uh, and we're going to fit one of these to uh, to my bee escape. So this is just a standard hive mat that I make um, and it used to have one of my triangular ones on it. I just knocked that off so we can go through the process of fitting this. That'll fit on there like that. The idea is that that's the downside. It's sitting on the hive. The honey's up here. The bees will come down through this when they need to go out to go to the toilet. When they go down through here, they land onto here. Yeah, that way up. They land on here and they can walk out any one of these eight entrances. All right. They've got lots of vents here, and we'll explain what they're for in a minute. But if, by chance, a bee gets trapped here or something happens and they get hurt and die in here, there's still plenty of other ways of getting out of the escape. But pretty much the bees can't work out what's happened. They go outside. So when that's up there like that, sitting on the hive, the escape is downwards, then the bees can actually smell the honey that's upstairs through the vent, these vents here, and they cluster around here trying to get in, but the only way they can get in is they've got to walk all the way across here and down here, and there's no scent there, so they don't know. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly show how I fix these. Five mil drill. Put a little hole in there. Get that centered. What I've done is I just measured from the hole outwards. And now that we've got one in location, we can do a few more. These are five millimeter uh, rivets with a big flat head on them. I just need to put a little block underneath there. Hang on a minute. So, 
That's it. All done. That's it up here. Honey super on top. Bees can come down through here, out through the vents, into the honey box. They can't get back up into the honey supers. I can steal their honey. I got a few of these to try this year. I think they could be good. All right, so that's Trev, Trev's Bees, Facebook and YouTube. A new version, to me anyway, of the bee escape. So that's it. We'll catch around in the beehive.